getting real boring. We are going to be getting into my everyday makeup look. So, first, let me put this disclaimer out, y'all. I am not a makeup artist. I'm not trying to be a makeup artist. I am just trying to show you what I do for my everyday makeup look. And it's really, really beginner friendly, y'all. If you know me, you know I am just really not the playing my makeup, playing my hair type of girl. But you know, lately I've been venturing out and I've been finding stuff that works for me. And this routine, y'all, when I tell y'all, I, I do it every day, like every day and it's 15 minutes or less. It just took a little longer today because I was talking to y'all. But if you are interested in this makeup look, wait, I forgot the First, Make sure you like, comment, and subscribe to this video. Show your girls some love. And if you're new to my channel, hello. And make sure you go check out my other video. And also, y'all, we're we gonna get into a little juicy story time. Tell y'all, I'm a little bad girl ways, you know. Bad girl. <laughs> no, I'm kidding. But if you're interested in how I got this look, make sure you stay tuned. And without further ado, let's get into the video. So first I'm going to take the Laura Mercier Pure Canvas Primer. It is illuminating. Love, love, love this, y'all. It gives your skin just a cute little um, glow. It, it's really nice. I probably wouldn't recommend for um, anybody with oily skin already because it does um, add extra oils to your skin. You know, you need a little bit. And sometimes I wear this with like no foundation when I'm trying to do like the no makeup look. Well, actually no makeup. And yeah, it's cute. So next I'm gonna go in with my NARS, NARS Natural Radiant Longwear Foundation. I wear the color Caracas right now. But sometimes I um like to mix Caracas and I might be pronouncing this one wrong, Hugh Hine, because it gives me a perfect skin complexion because I'm not normally this um, dark, but I do like to use this for um, night, this color for nighttime. And then this is a little too light for me. So mixing those together is like the perfect um, combination. And y'all, this foundation is the smoothest foundation I ever use. Like ever since I started using this NARS foundation, I've tried to like venture off and use other foundations. Y'all don't let him be hitting like this. I'm trying to tell you this this it girl, this it. So I am going to put that on my damp beauty blender that I just wet. On there. And y'all at first I didn't use to um damp my beauty blender, but when I started doing that, it makes all the difference because I was wondering why my makeup was looking so cakey and i guess it's because the beauty blender was dry and sometimes i used to use a brush as well but now i only use my beauty blender and i use the flat side of it it is amazing a game changer definitely for sure and notice that i am patting that across my face I mean, y'all probably already know that though, but for those who don't, y'all, that was rude. Yeah, but like I was saying, I pat that um that foundation across my face. I don't drag it because number one, y'all, you don't wanna ever drag your skin. Like that's how you start to age, ladies, and we don't wanna be looking 50 in our 20s. So make sure you're taking care of your skin and pat that foundation completely across. And guess what my stupid ass just realized I did? I didn't do my eyebrows, y'all. 
So I always do my eyebrows prior to me putting on my foundation. But I guess I got really excited to talk to y'all. So I forgot my eyebrows. So we are gonna do that now. Brows is the Anastasia. And this is the brow definer. And it is in the color Ebony. Now I also like the other um, Anastasia pencil as well. Both of them are in the color Ebony. I don't have that one anymore. I um, used it all. Um, but both of them work pretty well. I can't remember the name of it. It's the rounded one though. But this one has the slanted tip. If this thing will ever focus. And it kind of makes it easier to fill in your eyebrows. But sometimes this can be a little OD. So you gotta be really, really light handed with this. So we just gonna go in. My mirror is over here, y'all. That's why I keep looking up here. I ain't got guy or nothing like that. Like I just can't really do my makeup. Looking into this camera. I gotta look at what I'm here with, girl. Okay, so then you like I said you wanna you wanna stroke like really really light and I'm not gonna do an eyebrow tutorial so okay so after we do our brows girl you know like I told y'all I don't usually do my brows after my foundation but it's gonna be cute so I'm gonna actually start doing it so next we are going to go in with uh, the Tarte Shade Tape Concealer. And this is in the color tan. My favorite concealer, y'all. This is almost all gone. Like this is my favorite concealer. It does, it's not too light, it's not too dark. It doesn't have you feeling, it doesn't dry out really fast. Like it doesn't oxidize in your skin super fast. So I really, really like that. And I've been using this for about a year now. Yeah, I don't think I'll ever change. So y'all, y'all see I'm in a hotel. So let me tell y'all, I almost got arrested. So I moved, I recently um just moved. And so I was um I was driving, I was driving from my hometown. And I got pulled over for speeding, of course, because I'm a speedy Gonzalez, y'all. Like, that's why I don't like driving. I'm a flyer, like, I don't drive. I don't drive simply because I already know I'm gonna get pulled over. And don't nobody wanna drive a long time, but in this case, I hate to drive. So, y'all, I got pulled over forgetting that my tag is expired. So when he pulled me over, he was like, can you pull out your registration, your vehicle registration? He was like, now look at the uh, expiration date for that tag. And I was like, oh, fuck. And then he proceeds to say, and your tent is illegal. He was like, I don't think that tent is legal anywhere. He put the tent thing on there and it was a 19. I already knew my tent was illegal, but everybody have a legal tent like, why are you, <sighs> sir, we are fighting wars and you worried about illegal tent, like all the stuff to be worried about. You worried about illegal tent. And then he was like, you're going 65 and a 41. And I was like, yeah, I'm about to uh, go to jail. But no, what made me believe that I was, uh -oh. what made me believe, y'all, I'm just talking and I'm not even doing my makeup. Going back in with a different um, beauty blender from what I did my foundation. And I'm going to uh, wet this one also. And I'm going to blend this in. I don't want this sitting on my face too long, y'all. You don't want it to dry in. Now it will dry if you just let it stick. But yeah, so um, he was like, what made me feel like I was going to get arrested. He was like, I can't let you drive off with an expired tag. Stop to arrest me and take me to jail until I can get somebody to come get me and drive my car out. So I was like, oh my God, so y'all, my heart started being fast, my heart was being fast, but I was like, well, can I, can't, is there anything I can do, is there anything I can do? He was like, well, maybe you can go, um, you have an Alabama license, but I don't really know anything about Alabama. He was like, but maybe you can go online and you can renew it and then just show me the confirmation. So y'all was going online trying to renew it. Could not figure out how to renew my tag. Like y'all, this has never happened to me. My tag has never, ever. Like I'm always on top of my shit. But I just been like, or I've been moving. It's been a lot of stuff going on. That's why I really haven't um, 
upload it because y'all, y'all saw I was on a roll. I was uploading two videos per week. And I think the last video I uploaded was like two weeks ago. So I've been like just really, really busy, honestly. Like I haven't had time to do anything, anything at all. And y'all probably looking at my nails like, oh my God, your nails look crazy. But literally I haven't had time to do anything. So back to my story, but he was like, um, you know, you can um, renew your tag online. He was like, you know, pull over over here and I'll pull in behind you and wait. So y'all, my heart is still panicking because I'm like, if I can't renew my tag online, this man gonna take me to jail. I'm like hours away, like five hours away from anybody that I know that will come get me. So it was like, I'm, I'm about to be fucked. Let me see, like, y'all. I was gonna be fucked. And then it was late as fuck. So I was like, oh my God, like, no, you, <laughs> you gotta be kidding me. But thank God, I renewed it online. So your girl ain't riding dirty no more. <laughs> but that 10, he gave me a warning for my 10. He gave me a ticket for speeding. And I just got a ticket for speeding like two weeks ago, two, three weeks ago. So. Oh, these tickets are piling up on me. But, yeah, y'all. I thought I was gonna get arrested. That was about to be all bad. So, next I go in with my, um, my NYX bronzer, matte bronzer. And this is in the shade Deep Tan. Y'all, this is my favorite bronzer. I done tried to use uh, the Chocolate Gold. I tried Fenty. I tried a couple of more bronzes, but they were like too shimmery for me. And maybe that would be good as a cheap bronzer, but see, I use this bronzer to conceal my nose and I use it um, on my cheek as well. If I can find Okay, so I am going in with the Morphe M173 brush. Love this brush. Love, 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 love this brush. And I am just going to go in. And I am going to contour my nose. Just put a little bit on the outside of where I put that, um, that concealer. And y'all, I don't think I said this earlier. I am not a makeup artist. I don't claim to be a makeup artist. So don't come for me, okay? This is just how I do my makeup every day every day unless i'm going to an event then i might do a little round so that'll be here and there and this routine only takes me about usually 15 20 minutes if i'm like focused it's taking me longer now because you know i'm talking to y'all and y'all my friends but y'all really keeping me company because i've been bored oh before i started my story did i tell y'all why i was in the hotel Oh, because, um, yeah, I got scared. I was about arrested. <laughs> to wrap it up. So I was like, you know what? Let me just stop in any city and just stay. But I actually, I had it in mind to just kind of go to a hotel because I was like, you know, you done finished moving and stuff. I just needed a couple days to film some content. Um, just get my life back in order. And I feel like, you know, when you're at home, especially after moving, like, your life is still kind of like everywhere. You got everything everywhere. And I just kind of needed some relaxation. I didn't want to wake up super early. Um, like I said, I just, I don't know, I just need some me time. For real, for real. Takes the most time for me to do my nose because I want to make sure that it's right and that it's blended all the way through. Should I reposition y'all? Can y'all see me when I'm actually going to my face? Okay. I love doing my nose too. I could love it. Just a little bit. Okay, so I'm gonna go back in with the beauty blender. I'm gonna blend this pad a little bit so that my line won't be super harsh. And I'm patting it with the pointy side. And 
there you have a nose. And then we gonna take this same bronzer and go in on my cheeks. Like, my makeup routine is really, really simple, y'all, to me. Like, compared to a lot of stuff that I see people doing, girl, I can't do all that. So the brush I'm going in is with the Sephora foundation brush. No, this is not the brush I usually use. Oh well, I can't find my other brush, so this will do. Usually I use the Sephora um, contour brush, but we're gonna go with the foundation brush. I still like it too, because it's slanted. We're gonna put that bronzer on our cheek. And I do that line kind of harsh too because I don't know. I just like I love bronzer, y'all, because it gives you your color back in your face, especially after you put concealer on. Like I don't want to look like ghostly, you know. And I take that same bronzer and I pick my forehead. Excuse my underarms. Like I said, y'all, I ain't no um, makeup artist, but I do what works for me, and you should too. <laughs> okay, so next to set my face, I usually use the Laura Mercier Translucent Powder, but today, we're, I like this powder too, we're gonna use the Morphe um, Translucent Powder, and we are gonna set that the Beauty Blender. I like to set it right under my bronzer so we can give it that clean line. I like to set my under eyes. Sometimes if it's nighttime, I'll set my lip, but for the daytime, I'm gonna shoot it all up. Not my lip, but the top of my clip, the top part of my lip. Whatever it is. And I don't really let that sit on long, cause I don't, I used to bake, but you gotta be careful with that. Sometimes it can have you looking ghostly. So now I'm gonna go in to brush this off. I'm gonna go in with my Morphe 439 brush. Now I use this as a foundation. I used to use this as a foundation brush as well. So it still has a little bit of foundation on it. So I go in and blend that in. Blend, 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 blend. to that is your beauty blender being down i'm telling y'all because every time i forget to damp my beauty blender my face looks cakey so then i'm going to go in with my urban decay all nighter setting spray and i'm pretty sure y'all don't need me to tell y'all how good this stuff is like you want your makeup to stay on your face? This is what you need, sis. This is what you need. Well, my lip pencil that I'm gonna use is Pillow Talk by Charlotte Tillsbury. Y'all, this is, this is my favorite pencil to use. I mean, girl, what? It's a little expensive for a lip pencil. I can't remember how much it was, but it was over $10. And to me, that's expensive for a lip pencil. But it's so worth it. It's 
so well worth it. It goes with any shade of lipstick I use, and it just makes your lips look so sophisticated. So this has been my go-to combo. So I'm gonna go in and align those lips. And I like to overline my lips at the bottom. Then I go over it with my Fenty Gloss. This is the shade Glass Slipper. It is a, a, a clear gloss. It just looks that way because you know, my lipstick has been on the brush and stuff. Let's pack that. That's juicy. Uh, Y'all. Oh my God. Not me with stuff on my lips and say, this is a perfect lip. That combination on your lips, bomb, y'all, bomb, bomb. It's a combination, girl, it's a combination. So, this is it. It's very simple, very easy. Don't think I forgot anything. I don't wear um, eyeliner because I don't know how to do it. Maybe in the next, get ready with me. I'll try to use some, but she is sitting. We are on fleek. And we finna go with the money with that. <laughs> so I thank y'all for tuning in. Make sure you hit the like button, subscribe, do all that, show me some love, and I'll see y'all in the next video.